Hello everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. Um, I'm reading for you today from Outback, New South Wales. I hope everybody is having a good day or evening, depending on where they are located in the world. Today I'm looking, going to look a bit further than Outback, New South Wales to I'll be looking to France uh, and we'll be looking at the Yellow Vest riots there. The reason I want to look at, at those riots are, are pro is probably multi, uh, uh, you know, on a multi-level here. I think that uh, we need to have a look at um, those in power who are leading, um, the, I guess, the, the division between wanting to do something about climate change uh, but also at the same time not disenfranchising in any way those who are, are just earning a living, eking out a meagre, meagre income. So, um, as you know, the... Uh, the very the these various um, levels of protesting gets they get politicised they get politi politicised by the right and they get politicised by the left. Um, now that's unfortunate because it uh, throws a smokescreen over uh, the actual reasons for the protests. I would say in relation to the yellow vest, two things. Uh, most of the those who are protesting yellow vesters, we'll call them that. Uh, voted for the far-right candidate Marie Le Pen. So they were going to always be against Macron's and Macron's policies as well. Um, the second thing I would say uh, is that Russia is again stoking division. So it's there's a massive uh, there's evidence of massive retweeting and focusing in on the actual violence of the protesters uh, and also distorting vision as well. That's out there in the public domain. So again, we have this stoking of the divisions uh, in Western democracies um, against that balance of, you know, uh, disenfranchised uh, workers uh, who normally would, would look to the unions or the far left candidates uh, for assistance. We then have the far right, uh, the far right coming in and uh, appealing to that base, just as we saw in the US. So it is it is quite interesting to have a look at uh, what is happening over there because without a doubt you have these workers coming forward and saying that, you know, I work in a supermarket, I have three children, we can't live from week to week. So there's that aspect to the yellow vesters as well. However, unfortunately, Russia is there stoking the fires yet again uh, and uh, and destabilising, um, you know, peace in 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 Europe really. Uh, so I want to ask today whether or not Russia is actually financing the Yellow Vest movement. So that's not to say that all Yellow Vesters are wrong. I just want to have a look. Uh, given that this is a hotbed that Russia likes to jump into, let's have a look if Russia's financing this Yellow Vest movement at all. Uh, France has launched, launched an investigation into this. Moscow's denying it. We do know Moscow is stoking the fires on social media. We do know that they are fueling the unrest just as they did in 2016. So is Russia financing the Yellow Vest movement at all? Taking advantage, in other words, of this situation in France. Russia financing the Yellow Vest, financing in any way, financing the Yellow Vest movement. Mm, I'm seeing that, getting very strongly, very, very strongly, they see this as a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> a, uh, a, a great opportunity, shall we say, a monumental opportunity uh, to again drive forward these movements that, uh, that can uh, have the potential to spread across the world. Okay, so division is the aim here. So we have the Queen of Wands coming forward, and I think the Queen of Wands in this case is the inspiration uh, behind the movement, but it's also representing the stability that the, the Macron government is actually trying to bring forward. So to me, there's a tension between the two. Um, the yellow of this card is really standing out as well. Sometimes when you look at cards, they that the energies that they give off are, are quite uh, substantial. This is, is this 
this is also about the rule, uh, self-rule uh, as well. So I see this as a combination of both the yellow vests, the inspiration behind their protests, but also um, the stability that uh, that is desired. Um, you know, in another way, some uh, see the, the the Queen of Wands, sometimes the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, they associate with Mother Russia. I usually associate the Empress at, in certain readings with Mother Russia. So I'm going to say that uh, I see this as the situation, okay, Russia's yet to appear in this card. I see this as the um, division, the push and the pull uh, between the French government and the Yellow Vest movement. I asked if Russia was involved. Okay, so uh, this is in an interesting card to pull because it's deepening that Queen of Wands. I said that Russia, uh, or my feeling was that very strongly they saw this as an opportunity. And the Five of Swords is exactly that. It's an opportunity to, um, uh, to uh, I guess, cash in, not cash in, but um, hone in on the violence in France. This is the card of violence and abusive relationships. Okay, so that's telling me that the Yellow Vest movement is likely to uh, not to get a stronghold in um, in France because uh, two things have happened. Macron has um, scrapped the fuel tax, yet the, the Yellow Vesters are still protesting. He's also given some uh, uh, concessions around raising the, the minimum wage um, uh, and help for pensioners, I, you know, in the tune to the tune of billions of dollars okay um so yet i'm seeing this violence card so that tells me that the protesters will con the protests will continue it's also pointing or alluding to the fact that russia may very well have been involved but we've got the star of hope here so this is by no means an easy reading because as i said when i opened the reading up these pro some of these protest protesters are protesting for genuine means. You know, the, the woman in the supermarket who can't feed her children from week to week. They see the protests as a way of gaining, uh, gaining leverage and, and really getting hope for themselves. So it is by no means an easy situation. And unfortunately, Russia comes into these situations just as it did in 2016, when people are disenfranchised and it stokes the fires of violence and rebellion. Um, so this is not a good situation for Macron in France. The King of Cups, to me, is telling me, uh, I, I think this is Macron. I think that in the end, uh, Macron will be able to handle and... Uh, and, um, and I won't say solve this situation, but certainly uh, dampen this situation down. In in a way, here he he is the ruler. The King of Cups is the supportive ruler, okay, and he's he actually has a yellow cloak on, but he also has the blue of of France. So, uh, to me, this is showing that he will find a way to get through to those disenfranchised. Um, people and get on the game very early in relation to Russia because he's already seen, the world is already aware of what Russia is capable of. Now, this, um, the tension between the government of France and, and, and the Yellow Vestas, okay, this is around, uh, you know, not really wanting to be left out of, uh, of the economy. But it's also around, I mean, this is the card of the workers, um, but it's also the card of the teamwork. So teamwork and expansion. So I'm actually seeing that, um, that you know, there will be a resolution to this situation, though they're still going to protest because there's an element of the Yellow Vest uh, who are really wanting to see a far-right government in France. Russia again, okay, so Russia is right there. There are elements of the Yellow Vest movement that are actually in league. This is telling me quite strongly in league with Russia. These are very negative cards. This is violence and abuse, and this is theft, okay? This is running away, trying to get away with something in the black of, of night. Uh, and look at the colours of these cards, you know? Uh, is it any coincidence they're so brightly yellow? So this is telling me that while there are two sides to this story, 
there's also an element of Russia in here as well. Don't forget, most, it's, well, not most, some of these yellow vesters voted for Marie Le Pen, who actually took a trip to Russia, okay? Very much connected. There were synergies. Let's use the word political synergies between uh, Le Pen and, and Vladimir Putin. Offering hope, interesting reading, isn't it? The workers, the, 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 the real hard done by workers, see these uh, protests as hope. But look, here is the card of illusion. This is not a dissimilar situation to America in 2016. It was almost like the big con. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, you know, um, you know, while France might have learned a lot about America, it hasn't learned enough because uh, it did, it hasn't been looking after its most vulnerable either. So uh, we've got Macron uh, really being able to take control of the situation, and this is further um, further uh, evidence that uh, he will he will control these protests. I would say also that if I mean the hierophant is often associated with the law and the courts. I would say if there is continued protests that you might see, particularly now that the tide is turning, I think more than 50% of French uh, people don't want these violent protests anymore. So at one point they were, um, they were supporting the Yellow Vesters. However, the fuel tax has been scrapped. Macron's, uh, in, in, you know, it will be introducing measures to help the, the vulnerable, protect the vulnerable. Uh, and from here on in, I think it's actually going to, he's go, actually going to be looking at cracking down a little bit on, the, on, this, on these violent protests. But the worrying cards for France here is suggesting that Russia's influence here, and it's suggesting it quite strongly. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, turning, uh, you know, again with this t push and pull, this tug of war between the government and, and the disenfranchised workers, um, and then perhaps working together in the future, the Wheel of Fortune will be turning. Uh, and it will be turning, I think, toward, um, I guess, uh, it will be turning, I think, toward, uh, uh, toward, I guess outing what what is behind the yellow vest is. I see the yellow vest is a little bit like QAnon. There is an there is that element there, uh, which of course, as we can see, uh, looks as though it's being well. We know that Russia is fanning the flames of division, but I'm I'm seeing the wheel of fortune changing. I'm thinking that because these cards are so strong, I'm seeing that um, Macron will likely get hold of the situation. Um, strength, showing the strength. So this is mirroring these abuse and theft, dead of night, trying to get away with things, um, the Russia cards. This again is Russia trying to show its strength. I, I get this, this theme every time I do a reading on Putin. It's like he's trying to show his brute strength. Now this is showing me that, that much of this is to do with Putin and the oligarchs. Okay, this is a this is about Putin, strut, you know, strutting his stuff. This is about the aggression, the um, the way that he dominates global. Wherever there's a global problem, you can find Putin there somewhere. He's not only demonstrating his strength. Um, to the world, but he's trying to demonstrate it at home, which tells me he might be on thin ice, and I will do a, a reading on that. Does Russia want this repeat of the KBG mentality forever and a day, or will it break out of its own dysfunctional patterns, which actually, you know, um, are a real detriment to, to the world, but, but more importantly, a detriment to Russia. How many sanctions have been put on Russia? You know, what's likely to happen in, in the future as they continue to meddle in world affairs? The card of disillusion, okay, and, and, and this false hope that these uh, workers are, are actually uh, kind, they're being manipulated, okay? Um, and this, this, is, this is why, this, this illusion is a victory. 
okay and it's like the trump uh the trump presidency that illusion that illusion was a vi uh, the illusion of victory was 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 uh was was false the victory was false and you see this happening in brexit as well uh it's almost like things happen very quickly and then uh once there is this balance of thought and the evidence coming forward and also the time the passage of time we see the real situation um and so it's a false victory for for the for eventually eventually they have had victory uh in in relation to their um to their to their conditions and to the the wage increases and the more help for pensioners the fuel tax has been scrapped but what is the victory in the longer term because this is mirroring this false hope what is the victory for them in the longer term? The yellow vestas and for Russia. Okay, again, we're looking at this, um, you know, by by Putin's actions, are actually just making it worse for Russia. You know, how much longer is it going to be before Russia, <laughs> Russian citizens wake up? Okay, and so we have the uh, the three of wands again. This is uh, this is looking to. Um, really to overseas or other countries um uh i think this is the involvement um this is the card of expansion and 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 overseas kind of uh th this often comes up in relation to trump russia uh this person is standing there it's almost like they're considering or communicating with uh with countries further afield um, and I think that uh, Macron has launched a probe into the Russian, um, the Russian element of, of the Yellow Vestas, and I think this is what it's going to be. It's going to it's going to bring forward more information. So some similarities between France and and the US in terms of Russia stoking the division there. Um, some kind of manipulation is going on with the the Yellow Vestas. Uh, that's evident in this uh, in this reading it appears that macron uh, through this um uh this movement towards supporting uh the way the wage earners and the pensioners scrapping the full fuel tax uh may be on top of the situation but it also tells me that uh, the uh that this russia probe that is launched will also be insightful and it, it's also telling me that that if there were, are continued protesters, there's likely to be a crackdown by the law in France. So it is um, a complicated situation for Macron. He took a very strong um, stand against Russia. He's taken a strong stand against Donald Trump. Is it any surprise that Russia might be there stoking those fires of division? Let's not forget some of these yellow vestas uh, voted for Le Pen, uh, who actually had political synergies uh, with Vladimir Putin. She went to Russia, um, etc. So, it's there's a mix in this reading. There's a mix of real, real uh, matters that need to be sorted out by the French government and uh, those workers needing to be looked after, but there is also this overlay of Russia. Russia meddling as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, Macron's probe uh, investigation into Russian involvement in the Yellow Vest movement brings up. Let's wait and see. I hope that, uh, you know, that violence will uh, not be uh, not be tolerated or allowed to unfold on the streets of uh, of, Par uh, of French cities. Uh, there have already been deaths. This is quite a serious situation, um, but it does it does appear that Macron might be getting on top of it. Uh, so watch for the watch for further news on that one. Uh, we all have a vested interest in European stability. Uh, we we really do. No matter where you're sitting in the world. We want European stability, uh, and uh, and right now, Russia is stoking the flames of instability in Europe. Thank you, viewers.